Hi, I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions. This week we're looking at biodigesters. Now after the presentation, you'll understand what they are, what do they do, what they produce, and who actually uses them. Now if you like what you see, hit that subscription button. Now let's get stuck into it. Ready, set, go. In this presentation, we'll be looking at biodigesters and answering some of the following questions that include, well, what are they? What, what is a biodigester? What do they actually do? How do they work? And who uses them? Effectively, they're a containment system that allows the collection and then subsequent breakdown of organic waste via an anaerobic process into various useful compounds. They facilitate the anaerobic breakdown of organic matter which produces biogas and also produces a digestate. So this biogas concept is fairly simple. Effectively on the home based system, but it's the uh, commercial system works the same way. If you have a co collection point where you put in organic matter, whether that's animal manure, scraps from your garden or scraps from your dinner. It, f it falls down into this chamber here. After you put your stuff in it, it seals up, you seal it up. And then the microbes, those hard workers that they are, they do their process anaerobically, in other words, in a very low oxygen environment, ideally no oxygen. They do their thing, and in the process, um, the biogas is produced, and the biogas somehow through a valve uh, goes up, and because it's lighter than air, gathers at the top of this inflatable bag. So effectively the home system is made out of a re, um, recycled um, plastic that's got a, a life of about 15 years but eventually breaks down completely so it's biodegradable. It's imagine like a large balloon so it starts filling up. Now on top of this biogas when it starts to fill up you've got a system of um, sandbags that they place over. The sandbags compress the gas down and then the only way the gas can go out is out through a pipe that they, pro they provide with the kit to your portable gas, a biogas cooker, where you can cook your food in a mutated kind of wok. So what are some of the products of the end result of this process? Well effectively biogas is the main one, basically methane. Uh, also liquid-based fertiliser, solid fertiliser and soil amendment, and also fibre-based products. Now there's aerobic and there's anaerobic. With anaerobic, it's a breakdown of organic matter with limited oxygen, ideally with no oxygen. It's a slower process than aerobic digestion, and you're effectively uh, harnessing the power of the microbes or microorganisms to do this work. So with these biodigesters, the heroes are effectively the microorganisms. They're the ones that are doing all the work to break down that organic matter into its constituent, uh, into those compounds. Our biogas contains between 50 to 75% methane and also contains carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide and trace amounts of other gases. In regards to the use of the biogas, you're talking about heating and cooling, you're talking about running generators and there is cases of cars running on the biogas. What I love about it is it, it is taking something that was not considered a resource. It's reducing the amount of methane that is contributing to uh, the greenhouse effect and you're actually producing something useful out of it and at the same time you're also producing a fertiliser that can be used to improve soil and soil structure. It's, it's just, a, it's wonderful. And it ties in beautifully with the agrivoltaics concept that we've covered in a previous presentation as well. Well, commercially they're used by dairies, piggeries, and wastewater treatment plants. There are some commercial applications where piggeries have used uh, very large um, generators for their electrical needs uh, and running them totally off the, uh, the pig gas, the biogas from the piggery. Biodigesters can have a residential application, definitely. There are home biogas systems sold in Australia. These are kit systems that come as, along with the bladder, a portable gas cooker. And they claim for every two kilogram of organic waste, 
you get about an hour or so of cooking time. Now, with some of these um, biodigesters, you can get a free set of steak knives. Thanks, Gil. Conclusion. Biodigesters take organic waste and convert into useful products. Biogas is one output that can be used for cooking, heating, and running a generator. The other output is both solid and liquid fertilizer. Thanks so much for watching our presentation on biodigesters. We've literally just scraped the surface. I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions. If you have any questions, any inquiries, any answers, please feel free to drop us a line. And if you like what you see, hit that subscription button. Bye for now.